and this video is all about the punch draw. Now, one of the most difficult shots, I think, to, for most golfers to try to do. But, however, there are situations where you kind of like to try and take it on. Maybe if you're playing with friends and you think, right, okay, this is the perfect time to try and take this on. Or if you can get down to the driving range and take this on as well, and then it's something that you can definitely take to the golf course. For example, the situation I'm in right now, second shot into a par five, I have 195 yards to go. The wind is into my face, and you won't be able to see the flag because the flag is just over the edge of these trees in front of us. So I want to try and keep the ball relatively low away from the wind, but I also want to encourage some right to left shape as well. So very, very difficult shot. I think what makes this shot even harder is the fact that it's blind. Okay, so we've got to commit to our setup and we've got to believe in exactly what we're doing. So it's really important that if you can get down to the driving range to practice this, you probably could pull this off on the golf course. So it's the difference between eagle birdie par or maybe laying up and just making a par or a boat or even making a bogey. So at the same time, it obviously could make double. So this is why you do need to take it down to the driving range and give it a practice before you do go to the golf course. But for now, I'm going to talk you through the setup, talk you through the routine that I'm going to go through to try and accomplish this shot. And hopefully we will see this ball land on the green. So first of all, as I come back from behind the ball, I'm going to line up and I'm not going to line up at the target. I'm going to line up to the right of the target and I'm going to line my club head. In this case, this is all, guys, this is all for, obviously for right-handed golfers. I'm going to aim just right of target with the club face. If I was left-handed, I'd aim just left of target. I'm then going to put my feet further right of where my club is aiming. So my feet are very close to the target. My club face is just right of target, but the more important angle there is that my club face is closed to my feet. That's where we start to create the shape. What I'm going to do that's very distinctive with my setup now, I've got a six iron in my hand. Normally I would play this just forward of center, but I'm actually going to play it in the center because this is going to encourage me to hit a slightly lower trajectory. I'm going to explain why in a second. If maybe I was using a 7-iron or an 8-iron where I'd normally have it in the centre of my stance anyway, I would actually then put it slightly further back in my stance as well. Okay, so coming from behind the ball, got the ball position a little bit more central in my stance. I've got my feet pointing right of target, my club pointing right of target, but not as much as my feet. And when we're talking about the middle of the stance, I'm encouraging the club to come in slightly shallower. I don't want to hit down on the ball because I don't want to create too much backspin. Too much backspin will encourage the club, the ball to go up too high in the air and then I'll lose my distance. So I want to really try and hit this ball as low as possible. Also, I don't want to hit the ball too hard. Again, hitting it too hard will encourage too much height. So too much backspin, too much height, too much power will encourage too much height. I've got to hit this quite smooth. Normally from 195, I would hit a kind of a, a smooth six iron. And that's exactly what I'm going to do now. But because the ball position is slightly further back in my stance, I'm able to slightly de-loft it and get that initial ball flight much stronger and hopefully hit the ball a bit further because I've de-lofted it. So we're going to take the setup. I'm going to put the club just right of target to start with. I'm going to close the feet. Ball position in the centre. My feet now are pointing a long way right, but the club is close to the feet, but not quite to the target. I'm going to put a little bit more weight across to my left-hand side, so it's encouraging the downward angle of attack. But I am encouraging my hands not to be too hinged on the way down. Again, not to encourage too much backspin. So let's see. See if we can do this. Certainly got the strike. Definitely got the. I feel like I've hit that online. Okay, so as you can see from the green camera angle, I've hit a decent shot. Okay, now I've got put for eagle. So I'm really happy with that. Actually, to be honest with you, I'm laughing because I'm thinking, yes. Okay, so I've got a put for an eagle. Now that's where that shot will really pay dividends in my game. Had I laid up, played to what I could see, made it, maybe I've made a birdie but probably would have made a par depending on how my short game is. If you get this shot wrong though, it could have ended up in the trees and it could have ended up in a double bogey or worse. So guys, really do get down to the driving range. Practice this the best you possibly can. It's a shot that you might not need very often, but it can be the difference between one or two shots. Mm -hmm.